Hello, everyone. I hope that you're all having a good evening. It's kind of light here in southern Indiana. Um, yeah, I know I've been talking about the dating thing a lot. Um, it's very depressing. I mean, it was so much nicer when you can meet people in person. And I don't do bars or any of that stuff. Um, obviously, I'm not a kid anymore. But on the dating sites, it's like you just... I don't know, they're just basing um, on looks most of the time. Well, duh. It's just very hard, especially at my age, to find a decent guy that's, you know, they, they act like kids still, and I know it happens with men too, with the women on there, and I'm sorry for that. But anyway, I hope you all have a good night, and maybe better things will be coming all our ways. Let's just hope it gets a little bit better. And this is just so sad to see, you know, I, I mean, to sum this up, as I always say, as a female in your 50s, you are not supposed to still be dating, right? You're not supposed to still be out there on Tinder, Match, Bumble, eHarmony. You're, you, you should not, right? You're, you're, supposed, you're supposed to be with your guy in your house, white picket fence at all. Your children should be in college by now, and uh, you should be setting up uh, your life for the grandkids. Right? I mean, that's really what you, where you get your happiness, your fulfillment. I, I feel so bad for these these older women. They've really been sold a lemon. They've been sold a bill of goods and some serious snake oil from the mainstream and all of these ditzy broads on daytime television telling them to go chase their careers, freeze your eggs. You know, oh, ride the carousel, sleep with as many men as you can and as you want, live it up, do you, do whatever you want, there'll be no consequences. Yeah, well, these are the consequences, okay? And it drives me nuts whenever I see these uh, talk shows and news programs feature these women who are still in their very early 30s, you know, like, oh yeah, do whatever you want, you know, look, it's fine, I, I, it's fine, look at me, I'm still young and healthy and everything's good. Yeah, they're, these girls just got out of their 20s, right? So they really haven't been out there in the sludge for very long. But fast forward 10, 20 years. Now you're in your 50s like this older woman. You're in your 50s and you're just worn out, okay? You're just tired. You're tired. You're exhausted. You're tired of just dating endless amounts of guys and it never working out. Now you've, you've slept with, you know, almost a hundred dudes plus, and now no guys want to touch you, right? And then you slowly start to like, if you're smart, you wake up to the realization that you were lied to, right? And for most of these women, unfortunately, they don't have enough self-awareness to do that or um, character. Instead, they'll see a red pill creator like myself, and they're like, oh, uh, get him, get him. Get that guy. Oh, he's he's telling he's saying things I don't want to hear. I'm used to having smoke blown up my ass and lied to. I want more lies. I want to live more lies so I can live in this delusion fantasy that everything's gonna turn out. <sighs> Seeing it here. Fifty year old woman still out there. Very, very, very sad. Alright, next one. Alright, here we go. Today, a guy on TikTok asked why, after a woman gets divorced, why she starts to look better, why she loses weight, and why didn't she put all that effort in when they were still married to them? Go ahead and stitch your answer. I'm going to tell you mine. All right. Whenever they play the sad music like this, you know you're about to hear some jive, right? You're about to hear some jive, man. When I was married, I had two young children, and one had, has special needs. And I had these two dogs and no fence and a large house and a husband and I just was overwhelmed to the point where there was no respite and there was a mom group every maybe like month or two but there was no respite and I was worn out and one morning the guy that was coming in to put um, the underground fence in and then train the dogs um, I threw on some sweats. I barely got any, you know, my my hair was all crazy. And I, I opened the door and I've got one kid on my arm and I've got another one that's in the bathroom needing help. And, 
And I was like, I'm so sorry, I'm a mess right now, but come in. You mean and being a mom? He started with the dogs. And he said, you know how you can tell the alpha dog? Now I get it, this guy trains dogs for a living. And so this was the best metaphor he could come up with, although somewhat backhanded, but I got it. He said, you see, the alpha dog is in charge of all the dogs. And the most stress and the most pressure is on them. Who is she talking to? Caesar Milan, the dog whisperer? Wait a minute, it couldn't have been, because Caesar lives in my neighborhood. <laughs> Actually, I've uh, met that dude. He lives in my neighborhood, um, and he's uh, out in the valley. And uh, I shouldn't tell you guys where I live, but yeah, <laughs> Caesar lives pretty close to me. For survival, for providing food, for finding the means for it, for doing all of it, they don't get a break. They just go. Funny, uh, not to get off track, but uh, Gizmo and Cash have barked at uh, Caesar's dogs, uh, the dog whisperer dude. That part I related to. Not the alpha dogs so much, but I understood what he was, I understood where he was going. And while things got revealed in time about the man that I was married to and why I was not going to allow things to go on that. The man that you chose to marry, okay? Let's be clear about that, the man she chose to marry. You can tell this chick, or was not a bad looking girl back in the day, right? Not a bad looking girl with this blonde hair and blue eyes. Um, you know, back in her 20s, uh, I, I bet uh, she had them lining up. So who did she choose? She chose this dude that she's now complaining about. To me, in the absence of my knowing they were going on, was the catalyst. But after that separation, I started to get weekends and time for myself what not just like maybe a day every other month or something and then reassessing my you know the things i like to do and people that i started to become better friends with and pretty soon i was in a career after some time and thriving and finding myself and the thought of giving up all that work i put in to allow that to happen again kind of stops me in my tracks because i value my peace I just value my peace now. But it also kind of reminds me of when Cher's mom looked at her and said, Cher, why don't you just marry a rich man and settle down? Yeah, is she really using Cher as a role model? Really? Cher? Cher looked at her mom and she said, Mom, I am a rich man. Ooh. Well, Mom, I am an alpha dog. All right, somebody was blowing sunshine up her ass, man. <laughs> Okay, so the whole point of your story is what? To pat yourself on the back that you're the alpha dog because you're doing basic duties that every mother on the planet has to do. I don't see them patting themselves on the back and calling themselves an alpha dog. But uh, yeah, what do you want to hear here? You go, girl. Um, another one. I run this pack just fine on my own. Uh, let's not take your word for it. Let's hear from your kids. Miss, I, uh, they, I don't need a man. It's taken that long. Yeah, uh, we'll see what happens to those kids statistically without their father. Okay, last one. Okay, so yes, fresh out of the shower, but I had this thought and I didn't want it to wait. So no makeup, hair's wet. This is me. This is okay. You've been talking to someone and now they've disappeared. It's okay. Don't make it about you. As a matter of fact, you have no idea what's going on on the other side. Don't assume it's something about you. Instead, try this. Reach out to them. Say, hey, it was fun to start to get to know you, and I'm going to say goodbye now and wish you the best on your journey. I hope you find what you're looking for. Leave them in a good space. Treat them the way somebody should treat you. Be the example, because when you create this energy in the universe, oh that's the energy that comes back. Try it. I'm going to. Let me guess what's on her dating profile. Spiritual, but not religious. <laughs> like 99% of modern women these days think they're so cool. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in Christianity or any of these other religions. I'm spiritual, but not religious. I've... Ascended beyond religion. Oh, I'm so great. Give me a break. So, yeah, with this 
with this woman. She's saying if the the person just stopped talking to you, don't you know, and just left, don't assume it's you. It's probably them. No, it is you. <laughs> because guys don't leave unless we're not interested. So yeah, it's probably you. But because women have no agency, they will never take responsibility and go, hey, maybe it is me, right? Because it does take a little something called character to turn the mirror on yourself and go, hey, what am I doing wrong here? Not just, oh, you're the blame, you're the blame, you're the blame. But instead, looking at yourself going, what could I have done differently? What could I work on within myself, right? Now, these modern women will never do that because they are too perfect and too good for everybody and they deserve the world and a rich man and a mansion and the whole chagrin. <laughs> As always, gentlemen, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Anything you'd like to add, anything you would like to share, please drop them in the comments below. I always love to see you guys in my comments. I always love to read them, so please feel free to drop your comments below, and I'll see you there. As always, this is M from The 33 Secrets signing out. Don't forget to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and smash that notification bell for me as well. Helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm, and for you guys who want to support my work, the best, easiest way to do that is just jump into 7 Months of Mastery. Right now, it's only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me, so take advantage of it. All you need to do is click the link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds, so do that now, and I'll see you in my next coaching video. I'm out.